Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my DM podcast with your boy Cyber Sonic. Um, we got a special guest today. You know, we got the knight and shining armor of the hip hop game right now. He's glistening. Yeah, that boy yeah, glistening yeah, too, yeah. too, too, too much. We got Blackie in the house. Blackie, what's up? Yes, sir. How you doing, bro? I'm good. It's good to have you here, man. Thank you so You're much. You're looking good. You're looking clean. Danko. Danko. Man, um, how you feeling? Uh, I don't know. I feel very tired. I just yeah. came from a session. Yeah. We finish at like 6 a.m. But How? otherwise, in general, we're chilling. How's level four treating you? Uh, it's better than the first. Yeah. Level five from yeah. last year, but yeah. I mean, it's chill. It's yeah. okay. I'll yeah. be, be at home all the time, so I don't really mind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, you popping on YouTube, hella. You, think you so? No, no, you popping on YouTube, hella, bro. You know, so <laughs> come on now. <laughs> I don't know. When you, when you, when you, but I want to know you. When you go on YouTube, what do you search? What do you watch? Uh, every time I go on YouTube, the first thing I search is Blackie. I don't real song for real. I just gotta see the stats, see what's going. On. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. after that, maybe I'll dive. So most of the time, it's just the balcony mix because I'm cleaning the crib or whatever. Other times, it's just hold on, hold on, hold on. You cleaning the crib? Yeah, like the the gang, dog. We all we all stay there. We gotta put some chilled music. You know what I'm saying? And balcony mix is always the right thing to play. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't listen too much. I, I just blacky. First, before I do anything, <laughs> gotta search blacky, see the stats, and then I'm on to the next. Clean, clean. When you when you when you're not working, when you're off recording, how do you relax, bro? Uh, how do I relax? Ish. <laughs> uh, I relax by okay. I gotta have a, a nice cool drink or something. Oh, yeah? Maybe a tea or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you gotta have the habu babu way, um, and obviously is that a like, dirty cold drink or what? No, 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 no. The cold. Nah, nah, it's just a normal coldly. Okay. But in the mornings, it's just a tea. You know what I mean? Like a normal tea, coffee or whatever. And then, yeah, you gotta have the baby baby sometimes, but that's just another. <laughs> 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 what makes you? What makes you? What's that one thing people do? You like, nah, bro, you disrespecting me right now? Because a lot of people be coming up to you. On some different energies and different vibes. Mm, disrespecting. Uh, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think I've had a lot of disrespecting, but I do. I do get a lot of like bullying and stuff like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Just on, on different social media platforms, especially on Twitter and Facebook. Like, yeah. Niggas only got some shit to say. How you handle that? I don't know. Bro. I'm chilling. Dog. I've always. I've always been. You know what I'm saying? Like the the guy that's always been teased about or like bullied or whatever. And right now it's just different because I have something to stand on. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. have you know, number one album, number one song, you know, I'm going crazy. It's true. So it's not like <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna be pressed or whatever, but it's like yeah, dog, it's just it's just something I gotta brush off. Yeah, from Tasty Way. Yeah. You from Durban, coming up to Joburg. You know how Jersey streets are. When is the last time you got robbed, dog? You know Josie how the streets are. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about Josie streets. I don't be out like that. I'm a midwife. I'm a yeah. city boy. I'm always in the crib recording. Okay. okay. Perfecting the craft. But last time I got robbed was in Durban. Like, okay. Where yes. in Durban? Uh, like maybe 30 minutes away from the crib. I used to walk to school yeah. for a long time. And I used to walk in, in places where I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> Come on, man. So Tell like, us. <laughs> what area is your crib in? Oh, you mean in Durban? Yeah. I live in Sydney, Sydney Heights. Okay. Yeah, it's like a colored area, you know what I'm saying? Also has its own things going on, but it's not like the other areas, like the more, you know, Amalogish and stuff like that, mm-hmm. like Chesterville and whatever. So, yeah, I used to walk through like those those type of places and yeah, nah. And that day, what, what was going insane. on? Like it was it was dudes on the I streets? Mean, like just, Bro, it was like a Thursday, I don't know, midday vibes. I'm walking to school, I'm a bag on. I just got to Durban. I used to be in PMB. I just got I just got back to Derby and I'm trying to get back into the whole vibe of things. Um, so I have like my laptop and everything because I'm going to go register. Yeah. And these niggas pulled up on me. Like, <laughs> what, what did they take? What did they take? They took the whole everything. That way, first it was just like my phone and whatever, and then they were like, "Yo, hey, what's in that bag?" And I'm like, "Ah." You already know what time it is. <laughs> what's your size, I'm bro? Like, Yo, uh, dog, this bag, dog, please, dog. This is ah. Yeah. They took the bag too. They took the bag. I was there for nothing. It was hectic. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Brother, a lot of girls showing you love. You know, rightfully so. Like the prince right now. Um, but I'm interested. What type of girl would never get a chance with you? Like you just like nah. 
every, try to hit that. Every single girl that didn't give me a chance back then, I'm getting a chance now. <laughs> Any famous girl that you, that you hit up there that didn't give you a chance that's not giving you eyes? Huh? It's the DMs, bro. I'm saying any girl that's famous out there that you try to get with, but they're like, nah. But now mm. they're in your DMs. Nah, nah. I don't I don't think I don't think I'm like the ideal nigga for most celebrity girls or whatever. But on the other hand, like I had a lot of IG crushes and, and stuff like that that I got to only now. But just name, I made, name it, I made it a point. Name drop five. Name drop five IG yeah. crushes that yeah. were just in general. Yeah. That nothing happened. Let's go. Come on now. DMs. We getting personal. Oh, hey. Top five, man. Top five. Come on now. Don't be acting like you know, you know, you know, yeah, swiping. Like <laughs> Yo, hectic. Um, let me think. Let me think. Um, Hermosa Lit. Her name is Bali. Um, IG crush is that. That's oh one, man. That's one. You That's one. Go Yo, I gotta go with five. Yeah, man. Come on. You're hectic. No, actually, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, <laughs> come on. You already put the one on it. How'd I do it? <laughs> Man, I like, yes, we had it. We had it. We had it. You, it. 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 you made me think about it, but nah, nah, nah. nah. But you already said yeah to what? <laughs> <laughs> now you got to say the other because you just put the that one one on, 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 on you know, under on, 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 on blast. But anyway, it's cool. Um, who hustled you for cash? Last person who hustled you for cash? Because, you know, we, all, we, got, we got broke. People out here hustle me for cash. Yeah, hustle get, me for cash. I get, I get a oh, hustle me like yeah. successfully hustle yeah. me for cash. I don't think anyone's ever done that. I don't be having cash to throw around like that. But <laughs> I do get a lot of like like DMs from like random people like yo dog, please send me money like that. Nah, Who them? Who them? No, like random people. Like I'm sure. I'm sure maybe if you guys go into like your message request. Hey man, it's the DMs. Name somebody. drop one. Name drop w- one person. Well, me and my brother always hustling me for cash. Oh, like uh. Now close no, to home. Come on, me. come on, come on. Not Name drop me. one. Not hustling me. Like my friends, my friends always got you know stuff to do. My bro Leo always got to take care of him. Oh, my older brother, my younger sister. Dope. Just the parents, you know what I mean. Dope. I don't feel it as hustling. Maybe they have and like they, they mastered as something important. Yeah. But then I wouldn't know, dog. I'm cool. Yeah. With it. Yeah. Cause you know you're on TV now. I mean, people come up to you like, yo, bro, you got That's traction going crazy. on. It's crazy as you say that because the last time I went back to Durban, they were like, dog, we saw you on TV and we googled you and like apparently now your net worth is like over a million. <laughs> <laughs> like, I haven't even seen. But you. also, what is it close to? What? The I don't worth. know. I don't know what's my net worth. Like, hey, I don't, I don't think. I don't think I've come to a point where it's time to check all that. Like yeah. I'm still working. I'm still, you know, I gotta drop a lot of stuff. I gotta drop a lot of videos. See the merch and whatever. I haven't even dropped merch yet. I don't know how people can. Oh, you got merch coming out. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta when do you something drop like it. that. Um, I'm working on a deluxe for now for the album, and then I think a little bit after that I'll, I'll have, you know, some clothes for, to give the people. Okay, no, so is this like limited edition for you, and then it's gonna be like yeah, for the for masses. sure, for sure. All right, clean vibe. Yeah. clean vibe. How do you top three things you need to survive the day? Like when you walk out to get you through that day, you need to survive through the day. day. Um, I need to make a song to get me through the day. Okay. If I don't make a song that day, it's gonna be a bad day. Okay. Uh, I need my phone, obviously. Yeah. Can't do anything without the phone. And what's the last thing I need to get me through the day? Uh, I need an achievement, dog. I need like oh. something, something crazy. How do you define that? Like, just. I mean, I, I always like celebrate like the smallest things. Dope. Um, like day before yesterday, my dad said like a million on TikTok. You know those sort of hey, things. Dope. Some things I don't even like post about. You know what I mean? But I just, saw that. That was just crazy. Just to see that okay, not nah, it's moving. Like things yeah. are happening. Yeah. It's a lot of small things that happen every day that are like yo. Yeah. I didn't think this would happen. You know? yeah. So yeah. Dope. I uh, love that. I love that. Like the little things that count, bro. Yeah. So when you when you when you you traveling up and down, you are performing, you are doing all this stuff, right? You meet a lot of other dope rappers. Mm. Or musicians, or the case may be. So when sure. you see a dope rapper, right, and you're like, this kid got talent. Mm. Um, do you, do you have the power to sign him directly, or you gotta go talk to management, or how does it work? How does it work out? I don't have I don't have my own my own label yet. Okay. Um, but if if someone is dope, dog, for me, it's dope to just maybe just talk to that person. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Ask them what's going on, how you doing, how's life? Because like this thing can get weird. Like like mm. like 
the rapping thing and just trying to make it as a, as an artist. Yeah, it gets weird sometimes. So you gotta speak to the young boys, man. Just telling them, yeah, nah, it's cool. And like it's, it's nothing hectic. You just gotta keep working, perfect your craft and whatever. And then it comes to a point where I'm like, actually, let me help you out. Let me give you like a little verse or something mm-hmm. so that wherever you drop in on SoundCloud or whatever, you know what I'm saying, it'll help you. And then yeah, it just it'll it'll also inspire you to like carry on going. You know what I mean? When you mean weird, like just break down those challenges. What what exactly do you mean? Like most of the time, like people that that are really passionate about music are not are not born into like musical families and stuff like that. So they always like left. They always like the black sheep of the family trying to make it. So it just gets weird to like when you when you're like alone, like in the studio or whatever, you're trying to make your music and whatever, like. You're alone and you're just thinking about like how far can you take it? Mm. Uh, do you have the talent to take it that far? Do you have like the resources or the network to take it that far? And when you start realizing that you don't have much of that, it gets very discouraging and you don't really want to do anything anymore. You know what I mean? So it's just dope to give them that that little inspiration and that little light. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, people butcher my name sometimes. <laughs> the worst pronunciation you got somebody pronounce when you heard somebody trying to pronounce your name. The worst is. Blexi. Because <laughs> of the eggs, And dog, also, why are we there, dog? Sorry to cut you off, man. The spelling of your name on IG, it handled me one time. Yeah, no, facts. I wrote black. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and that time, I vibe with David. Mm. I'm trying to find David. There I am. Uh, <laughs> can't find him. He's dropped. I've seen something. Yeah. You know, Zeus has always got the juice there. <laughs> I go that side, I see the X. What happened? Is that a silent? Uh, with me... Like, uh, I was first Blacky Chan for the longest time without the X, just B-L-A-C-K-I-E, Chan. So you're a black ninja? Yeah, that's the, that's that was like, the bar. That was the like, Blacky like, Chan, I like in, that. In primary school, that, that's that's what it was. And then, I mean, as I grew, like, I don't know, it kind of grew off me because it was just a line in a song. Mm-hmm. So in, in high school, I was like, nah, I got I to gotta drop it now. So I dropped the Chan and I was just Blacky for a while. And then when I started getting really serious about music and I searched Blackie, like, there were a lot of weird, I don't know, Chinese people, a lot of other artists named Blackie and whatever. So I was like, let me just change the A to an X just to stylize it. Uh, so that when people search for me, they search it for me and not just. I think we probably go to the Blackie. X's, eh? Yeah. Uh, Who's your last X, bro? My last X. Uh, name drop. Ah. <laughs> then like just like the big job. Hey, yeah, man, it's the DMs, hey, man. dog. Come on, it's the DMs. Oh, we try to get personal that. up in your space. Hey, man. We can never do that, dog. That one is hectic. Yeah, but you can't get my ex a platform, dog. Hey, okay, cool. I, I get you, get you, get you. But you can't get in a relationship with you single. Uh, yeah, I'm in a relationship. Okay. Yeah. But how do you? How do you? Is your girl like? How do you handle that, dog? Like, nah, my girl's the coolest, dog. Oh yeah, she's, she's the coolest ever. Oh yeah, yeah. Meaning that you can cheat, but she's no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, she's the coolest. <laughs> As in, is she famous? She though? Is she famous? No, no. I don't want no famous girl. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. Um, how did you? How do you? How? What's the last check you got outside of hip hop? Outside of hip hop. Yeah. Uh, probably the we did like a Coca Cola thing recently. Okay. Mm. I don't know. You mean like, no, outside of hip hop, the game, like just the last oh, check you got outside the game. Yeah, totally. yeah, we did, we did a Coca Cola campaign, like the, uh, the beat can thing, the new, the new cans. Okay. Yeah, we did that thing. Now, I think that's the last check I got. It's not okay. done, but that was. The okay, last so they still, you know, yeah, they, they still owe you a couple of checks. Yeah, we see problem. you. <laughs> so at least you can maneuver this uh, uh, COVID. Also, looking at COVID, man, how are you keeping yourself safe? What's happening there? Um, yeah, as I said, though, to get through the day, I have to make like a song a day, so it's like cool for me to like be locked down, locked in the crib a lot, wake up in the morning, great day, make, you know, a few songs, and just, you know, that, that, that thing makes me happy, like just to, just to be there and just perfect it, because that's what I'm working on, like if you working on being legendary and, and for people to remember you later, like you gotta perfect it right now. I don't think I, I have like the best formula or the best songs yet or whatever, but like, as time goes by, I'll probably, you know, in no time, I'll have, like, the best, you know what I mean? So, I get out, do the songs, come back, and, yeah, just to stay sane, bro. I just do that, and I get I get on my phone, and then we just chilling. I mean, dudes, are constantly, dudes are constantly in your DMs, you know, hitting you up, whatever. What are just those WhatsApp messages you just don't respond to? Like, totally, like, ah, nah. Um, don't respond to it. 
Uh, just like my, this number, I've had it for like a very long time. Okay. Uh, even before I dropped the album, I had a WhatsApp group with this number just okay. to connect with the fans and whatever. But I want a new phone for me to get a new number. So like a lot of people have been sharing and stuff like that. I get random calls sometimes. I don't answer like calls from random numbers. So your ex uh, can still call you? He, I mean, <laughs> it's possible. Has she done that? It's possible, but I mean, I, I know the number, so it's like... So whoever's got that number can still reach out to you technically? Yeah, okay. but then... I mean, sometimes, sometimes I'm in a good mood, dog, okay. and I see something and I'm like, ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but most of the time it's like, yo, this nigga sending me songs. There's always someone shouting at me, yo, dog, please put me on, dog. Ah, you a bitch, you're not putting me on. Ah, I'm like, ah, dog, nah. relax. Man, the youngin, the youngins want to know. Um, because right now, you know, you're not, you're not. It's it's level four. People are not are not clubbing. Do you are you able to make enough money online with the views to make you comfortable? Like to be like, I can go for like a month or two without actually not being in the streets like that. I don't know. I don't know about online, but there is a lot you can do with like features. Okay. Um, there's a lot you can do with like brands and stuff like that. Okay. I don't know about directly online because that because that's like I don't know that's like different money I don't really okay. I don't really look at that like that's that's like long term okay. sort of things but like in order to survive like with me it's, it's more features and, and okay. stuff like that the reason why with all the traction you get on YouTube the views just going because mm. you got crazy views yeah I see, you know? I see that yeah so like I'm just you know the monetization aspect of that yeah. is the money coming in like that yeah it is but then I mean I haven't I haven't really collected okay it. that's okay. what I'm saying so that chick just didn't yeah, evolve just, it's just yeah. gotta chill there yeah. rainy <laughs> days are coming <laughs> <laughs> An SA artist, right? If you got a, if you got his missed call, with who you would definitely uh, uh, call back? Ricky. Oh, yeah, I have to. Now Ricky, Ricky, yeah, Ricky no, the Godfather. If you missed that one, you really know. <laughs> you missed out on something. <laughs> that that is, yes. so, yeah. <laughs> What's the relationship between you and Ricky? Like, is there one like how you vibe it? Yeah, look, Ricky's someone that, that pulled up like after you know the whole uh, big time slapper yeah okay. sort of era. But it's mostly through Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper mm-hmm. put me through to, to a lot of to a lot of these these cats. Um Casper, Ricky, uh Tejo, all of them. It's all it's all through yeah. Pepper and I think they're related, eh? Pepper and Ricky. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's 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 how I think. I mean he's he's, he's just been trying to help me and just like guide me through the whole thing. As a new as a new as as the new wave entering into the industry, like would you consider yourself industry? You got industry friends, or they're just like, ah, I'm here, my team, y'all are there. Like, how how do you relate with them niggas? Uh, nah, I don't. I don't think I have like <laughs> industry friends. Okay, cool. Like, like people that yeah. I can, nah, nah, nah. I used to, uh-huh. like when when we first started, but then I don't know. I don't. I think as time goes by, it just it just split up, and mm. then especially with like the whole COVID thing, people don't really visit anymore. You can't visit, so then it just That's- becomes a thing of nah, nah. We'll just. We'll sort it out after, but I don't really have any like friends, friends here. The only friend I had like left, he went back to Durban. Mm. So, yeah, my 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 real friends are in Durban over here. It's just I don't know, just acquaintances. I'm at the office when I'm in Chelsea. Talking about friends, you and Lucas Raps, man, y'all got y'all got a y'all got a thing going on. What's yeah. going on? Like, what's the relationship? Should we expect more music with you? You um, and him? People are talking about a joint tape. I don't know, bro. Like, I'm just putting it out there. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know about right now. Like, he's in a different space right now. He's doing his own thing. I think he's working on his project. Okay. Um. So I don't know. It's gonna be a walk with, with people that I really wanted to do it with. People that are that really deserve to be like on the on the album, people like you Wang and yeah, just different people. So I feel like at this point, it, it's just our time to like do like our own thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Three people that need to hear a new record before you drop it. Three people need to hear a new record. Um, obviously, Dando, my photographer slash road manager guy. Shout out. Um, Nandi, my manager, has to hear it before it drops. Um, who else? I don't know. Someone random. Some girl, maybe. Yeah. Just it depends though if it's like an R&B song or like a trap yeah. song. Talking about songs, man, like you, 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 you going crazy right now, right? Yeah. Um, what should we expect, Africa? Let's talk about Africa. Like, what's what's going on? Is there plans to to you know take over the continent, Nigeria? You know yeah. they're buzzing, they're showing you a lot of love. So what's the what's the plan? What's the what's the formula? Um, we just trying to 
maximize you know what i mean we, we figured out that the the sega song is, is what is what people are vibing to right now like across the board uh, across the borders so we just want to maximize on that so we're trying to do more songs like that trying to work with more nigerian artists i have songs with uh Oxlade, um you know what i'm saying linked up with davido um oh. so the plan is to go there but then there's also places like tanzania and like yeah. congo you know what i'm saying different places that, mm. that we need to see before Niger and then, you know, Niger, UK, UK. Yeah. So I know well. it's level four now, but have you done shows like over? Uh, nah, nah, nah. Okay. I haven't. I haven't, okay. I haven't even been to Cape Town yet. Imagine. Dog. <laughs> I can't wait. Dog. Now my puzzle needs to open up. Uh, Cape Town, we coming, we coming for you. We coming for you. Um, any, let's talk about the, the, the rest of the globe. Like America, mm. bro. America, America. I mean, we see what your brother nice to see. You got to record with him. It's doing out there. Um, what, what is your, are you sharing insights as to how you can penetrate that market? Is that what you're trying globally, to do? Globally. Globally, yeah. 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 Um, you mean between me and him or like do you have conversations about it or you mean just for me in general? You and him, you, you also in general. Uh, like, I don't really like, I don't know. We don't speak on that on that okay. level, Facts. but we just, we just made a sound. So maybe if you do link up more, we could speak about it. But like on my side, there there are a few people in in America that were like, yo, if if you ever put it up, also them they were like, if I, if I ever get to if they ever get to South Africa, you're gonna say we need to work. So yeah, that is that is definitely. It's not the end goal, but it's 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 a, it's a stepping stone towards something else. You know what I mean? Have you made uh, uh, any song with anyone out there? Like with the, with US, the American, you know, yeah, yeah, we we did we did something with Color Gray from Belgium. Um, I did oh. a, I, I did a whole uh, what two week writing session thing with like different artists from around the world. You know what I'm saying? France, uh, people from the UK. It was like it was crazy. Um, yeah, and then there's also just other big names like I don't know what we got. We got Made in Tyo, uh-huh. uh, Smino, sort of people that are like. Hit me up and be like, yo, we, we need to do something. It's not done yet, but then, you know, if it's in the plans. And if I ever, you know, need to get there in that way, then yeah, they, you, they're the people. You said something, you said something important. You said that's not the goal, the international route or the United States route. What yeah. is the goal? What's the end goal? The end goal is to be legendary, dog. I always say it's like, you just need okay. to, people need to remember you as one of the best. That's what I'm saying. So like, um, that, that, like going to, going international, going to America is just like, one of the things you need to do for people to be like okay cool we recognize you because even the legends that 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 weren't on the internet that much you know what i'm saying that were making music like they they were performing out there you know what i mean and that's why they they, they kind of considered mm. as, as one of the best yeah oh i love that i love that um what type of person do i need to be to be around you because a lot of people be coming up to you like <laughs> what's the caliber of people around you bro um i don't know it's just ah everyone around me just a worker dog everyone yeah. is like Dando's a road manager slash photographer slash videographer. He does all the content that I that I, that I have on on the internet. Um, there's Chrysler. He's a producer. Um, and then most most of my friends just like do their own things. Like a lot of my friends make clothes. A lot of my friends model and stuff like yeah. that. So they're trying to get me into those into those sort of things. But yeah, like as I was saying, like I mean, uh, Josie is, is is an office for me. Like a yeah. lot of people. Out here are working. Talking about clothes, uh, they they would never forgive me if I don't ask you this question, bro. And expand out, or you go crazy. Why do you dress the way you dress, dog? Why? Like, do just I explain. Dress just explain. <laughs> like, why do you dress? You know the swag. What's going? On? Like, why do you? Um, I don't. Yo, know, like aesthetics are super important. Yeah. Um, especially since like now I got like the the photographer with me. Like the the pictures always got to be clean. Mm. And in order for the pictures to be clean, it, it has to be. You know, the drip has to be on point Facts. all the time. And with that, the drip also has to be different all the time. Like, you can't be wearing the same, I don't know, shirt or whatever. It's mm. always going to be different. So, I make it a point to, like, you know, figure out my style, what I'm comfortable in, and, and like, try to get people to, to help me, you know, get to that point. Because I'm not really, like, a fashion designer or anything like yeah. that. But I do have friends that do that sort okay. of thing. So, yeah, they just help me, like, figure it out. And uh, they've been doing pretty well. I mean, I know you're not a fashion designer, but would you executive direct a sort of collaboration if any were to happen in that mm. fashion sense? Because yeah. I, I picked that fashion sense from you, bro. Yeah, I used to, I used to like draw a lot. I used to do oh. a lot of illustrations and stuff. Like before, I started rapping. Like I used to draw a lot of the people that 
I'm actually linking up with now. Okay, you know what I mean? talk about manifestation. <laughs> it's, crazy. it's crazy. So yeah, if if ever I need to get back to the pen and and just like you know some draw some stuff, yeah. or create some design stuff, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. We in, we in July right now, man. Um, I know we're in level four, but you know, let's. What's the roadmap for the next six months of the year? Six seven months. I mean. Five, six months. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm trying to do the deluxe this month. Dope. I'm trying to do another version of the album next month. And then by November, I have to have like another sort of thing going on. Like, even if it's not an album, maybe just, I don't know, like different sort of shows. Um, just working on it, man. Just making, just making people experience the the music better. I uh, need to do more videos, like more crazy videos, like more cinematic, more like yeah. movie like sort of things. Um, better storylines and all that. So yeah, that's. I think for the next, I think I got it covered for the next for the rest of the year. We cool. Work is in the vault, baby. Work is in the vault. Easy. Um, bro, like, it's it's your time to shine right now. Real talk. Um, what what are you? I like what you said earlier on that you just enjoying or t- rather taking looking at the little s- small things that are happening and mm. taking it you know and really appreciating that ever since you 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 you, you found your success what do you what do you just when you look back at night what, what do you just thank <laughs> god for bro like um yeah i think i have to thank god like i have to thank god for how quickly everything happened you know what i mean um like in Durban, when I was working, like I knew that, you know what I'm saying, there's a point where things are going to turn over and, and, you know what I'm saying, the success is going to be there and everything's going to happen as it should, but not as quickly, you know what I mean? When I got to Josie, it was just like, yo, I'm here now and I don't want to be here like for too long just working, you know what I mean? Because there are a lot of people that are out here that are still you know, upcoming, so upcoming for like years. That's so like, oh, man, <laughs> but that's my nigga just gagging him. That's not, that's not cool, bro. So I was like, nah, like this thing gotta work, and that's why I have to perfect it, dog. That's why I have to make the best songs. Every time people hear something, they're like, nah, this is crazy, and and that's why I think it took like, you know, what I'm saying, just this little year for things to happen like this. And now it's just up to me to take um, this to the next level, take this pedestal to the next level. What's your favorite song from your album? Um, my favorite song is the first one. Mama's bad. It's, it's, that's a heartbreak. That's my favorite one. That's a yeah. heartbreak. It's a children. Yeah. It's a children. That goes to the heart. That's yeah, goes to the heart, man. What's the formula? How do you cook these hits, bro? Um, you like, like yeah, dog. Like how? You like some happens. candles? You get like what do you do, bro? <laughs> nah, like, it's just. I don't know. My studio pretty much is lighted up like this. Like it's very white office like sort of vibes. Yeah. Um, I just get there, sit down. Normally I'm by myself. Uh, other times I'm with, you know, other people. Uh, sometimes Thunder comes in to just uh, film it a bit. But yeah, I just get there, listen to a bunch of beats that are in my email that I asked for. Like most of, sometimes I just post on Instagram, like yo send beats, and I post my email, and, and there's like gang beats over there. I get there, listen to I don't know five, six, pick out like the best two or three, and then that's me for for the next seven, eight hours, just out there working, recording myself. Um, you know what I'm saying? Making sure it sounds lit. That's 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 how I make a song. All right, easy. All right. For the sake of DMs, right? <laughs> Let's do it like this. It's a little spicy. Hey, man. man it's the streets. <laughs> Let's operate something quickly. What's in your DMs that you like? Hey, this was a bit too much, whether it's from a hun or just people being people. What goes on in, in Blackie's DMs? Most, like, recent... <laughs> 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 this finna be good. Yeah, uh, I think it was yesterday. I went through a message request, and a girl was like, um, "Would you? Can you imagine railing me in front of a mirror right now?" Oh my goodness, sure. dog! Right, no. that's, <laughs> dog. <laughs> that's some regular shit. Though. <laughs> Is that I, just, I, just, I just, I just, I just, I just said that because it's like yesterday, and it, and it was made me go like, oh shit, that's crazy. That's crazy. Right, cool. I don't know how you. Like, so that's crazy. For I don't you. know how you'd wake up in the morning and be like, I oh, know. Today I'm texting black. <laughs> Some yam. <laughs> <laughs> and how often do you, do you get these? Because you're like, that's that's a regular. Yeah, that's that. Nah, that's that's regular though. But yeah, some of it is like makes me like, oh, yo, what's up, Gabriel Musila Gasole, aka Black Is Some Yam, the man, the hottest, the greatest. Check out my DMs, podcast, subscribe, don't get it twisted. Yes, sir. 
What's good, y'all? It's your boy Cyber Sonic Tista right here on my DMs podcast. Don't you forget to subscribe. Otherwise, shout out to our sponsors, man. KIP Pizza. We keep grubbing. You keep filling up. We keep doing the things. They cook the pots. Check them out on One Eloff Building. That's next to Gandhi Square. You can't miss them. They got the best pizzas in town, burgers, chips, whatever you want. They got you. Yes, sir. My DMs podcast, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah.